What's up, it's Emilio. Are you playing games on Windows and your performance is bad? Low FPS, thermal throttling, power limitations, and CPU stuck at base clock? Then this video will help you fix those issues. Let's get started. All right, so all the software will be in the description. First, you wanna update Windows or disable updates, which I don't recommend. Then we're gonna download the AMD graphics drivers from bootcampdrivers.com and go ahead and install those. And next up, we're gonna download something called Quick CPU, which we're about to talk about because I don't think you should use Throttle Stop. Okay, so initially this video was gonna be about how to use Throttle Stop in bootcamp to give the best performance possible, but I'm just not seeing performance gains with Throttle Stop like I thought I was back in my previous video about this. So. I didn't want to make a video where your performance would actually be worse off. Things like my average frame rate, my 1% lows, and my 0.1% lows were all worse off after when I was running the numbers and comparing the benchmarks and all the different types of games I was playing. So I just couldn't recommend something like that. Moving on to my internet research. I was looking all across the web and it took me like the better part of four to six hours to try to find something that would do what I wanted it to do. I wanted just control over where my CPU's clocks would stay in between, and I wanted control over where my boost clocks would be. So I did find this app called Quick CPU, which lets me change a ton of stuff in my CPU. I think it's easy enough to understand. You can see all the different states that your CPU is in, things like frequency, what your voltages are, uh, what your, your power limits and your current limits are, uh, your utilization, all types of stuff. And um, I'll show you what my settings are, but they're gonna vary depending on what kind of CPU that you have and what your TDP is and what kind of temperatures you're getting. So for me, I'm doing this based off of a 16 inch MacBook Pro. So the, set the settings would definitely change for what you need. Okay, so uh, in my first test where no changes were made in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I saw that I was only 8% GPU bound. That means that my CPU couldn't produce enough frames consistently to keep up with how fast the GPU was working. And considering the frame rate, it just wasn't doing very well at all. It was only using about 15 watts of power and it was running at 2.4 gigahertz, which is the base frequency of my computer. And I wanted all of the cores to boost clock up to something reasonable, like three gigahertz or even a little higher even 2.8, anything but base clock, and I think it would really improve my performance. And also I wanted the power usage to be consistent because that up and down spiraling of the power usage really takes away from what the GPU needs. The GPU needs to have like a consistent amount of power that it can draw. And especially with games that are running at high resolutions with a lot of effects turned on, or just games that you wanna run that are newer that take good advantage of the GPU, you need something that's gonna um, I just have consistent performance and for me 2.4 gigahertz was not enough to keep up with the demand that the GPU needed So I'll show you this app here If not, I'll show it on screen But there's a ton of settings that you can choose in here things like your CPU's performance levels um, It'll show you the, the CPU utilization temperature data for your model power the TDP the current speed of the CPU, and under advanced CPU settings, that's where all of the magic really happens. So things like speed shift, which is a way for your CPU to regain control back from the OS and, and control what its base and boost clocks are. So once you have that setting enabled in the app, you can choose your minimum allowed performance and your maximum allowed performance and your desired performance, which I have mine set to 3.4 and it is perfect right there uh, with my minimum being three and my maximum three being 3.8. And I have my max power, which is under general advanced CPU settings. And I have my power set to 25 for long and short. Uh, and at 25, I'm getting a very good performance boost. But again, if you have a 13 inch Air or a 13 inch Pro, I would recommend doing a little bit more research to figure out where you want those numbers to be. For me, 25 is perfect. My TDP of my processor is 45. but it can stay at 3.4 gigahertz so long as it's not being utilized 100%, um, which most games are not gonna utilize 100% of an eight core processor, thankfully, or else I'd you know, probably be in trouble. Fiverr control, you can pretty much leave alone. As far as I understand, Intel removed the ability to change your uh, CPU core voltage and uh, cache settings because of a hack that came out in December. So they issued a microcode update that disabled 
voltage controls, at least on a lot of models. I don't know if yours is affected. All I know is this, um, this is something that used to work back in the day, but no longer works at all. So that is something to keep in mind. And there's also a setting right on the top left hand corner when you first open the app called maximum performance, which I do have this set to. It will disable core parking, which it's debatable whether or not that's still relevant, but all of the settings combined seem to really give me great performance levels that are consistent in most applications and just let me have that gaming experience that I always wanted on my Mac. So let's do some performance benchmarks and you'll be able to see the kind of performance that we're getting out of this. But across the board, we're pretty much getting great levels of performance, great frame times, great uh, CPU and GPU utilization. Overall, I've had a very positive experience using this app and I think that it will work really well for you. So let's get on to the next part of the video. So there's no dialogue for this part, but green is before the changes that we made and blue is after. I think you'll agree uh, there's some serious performance gains that we're having here and I'll see you at the end. I'm right behind you. Don't worry about it. I don't think these tools are gonna make it through. Up here. you say that every After you. Will you look at that? A separatist ship. I haven't seen a Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah. Meet you at the cliffs.
work this barge immediately. You are not approved trash. I'm trash? Just not approved trash. Depart this barge immediately. You are not approved trash. Trash? Just not approved trash. Never been to the beach, and I'll always take it off. 
Yo soy Fatawan, la cara. Roach. So that's about it for this video. Would you kindly drop a like, leave some commentary, and subscribe? Uh, let me know what you want to see next, and I'll do my best to make it happen. Next week, we're checking out the MacBook Air, the quad core model, and we're going to put it through some tests like bootcamp gaming, Photoshop, and everyday stuff. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.